What's going on everybody? Welcome back to KC Aquatics. I'm Kyle. Uh, so in today's video, I just want to do a update on the saltwater tank. Also, uh, I have a scully that's been receding. So we're going to talk about that, what to do and how to pretty much maintain a healthy scully. All right. So as we come over back here to the reef tank, as you can see, the hammers are doing great. Frog spawn's doing amazing. Uh, got a couple of different frags. The Zoas, some are still acclimating. The God of War, I'm not too sure it's going to pull through or not, but uh, we will see in the upcoming week or so. Utter Chaos is still a little pissed off, but that's uh, going to turn around eventually. And other than that, everything seems to be happy, doing great. The anemones, they got the bubble tip there, the rock flower in the rock right there. But this is the scully I've been talking about. As you can see, there's some skeleton showing. It does look a lot healthier now. But I have noticed a lot of my hermit crabs have been walking on it, bothering it, and doing a lot of that stuff as well. So, so one of the biggest things I've noticed with scolies, as you can see, there's my ble bleeding apple. Uh, I've had him for about two weeks now, and you can see he looks amazing. Not a hint of receding. Nice and fat every day. This is my trachophilia. Uh, I think it's not enjoying the flow too much on one side, so I may need to adjust it, but the other side's nice and plump. Everything seems to be going well there. But uh, with these guys, the biggest thing is you cannot have super high nitrates. They do not like that. They will start receding pretty quickly. And the other thing is also, it cannot be in a high flow area with a lot of lighting. They tend to not like that. These are very, Kind of a chill coral they're like low flow low light and they tend to thrive with that i do feed them about two to three times daily or two to three times a week sorry and it seems to be helping him you know juice back up get bigger again but it's going to be definitely a work in progress so that's another thing i've noticed with the reef tank uh, a lot of learning a lot of patience if you want to get into reefing do a lot of research it's going to save you a lot of money and other than that, we're just gonna take a quick boo at some of the new frags we got last week and that'll be pretty much it for this video. Thanks guys. So this is one of the new Aiken frags I got. It did get fragged that same day, but it seems to be pulling through. Colors are popping. Like I said, the new Scully, beautiful as always. My trachophilia, color is just popping out of this guy. I did decide to get a new gold hammer as well to go with the hammer garden I got going on. And I should say Euphilia because I do have a frog spawn in it. And the new rock flower in them. Seems a little pissed off, but it, it's doing okay. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the new stuff. And I'll catch you guys next week on Friday. Like, share, and subscribe. Anything you want to see in the next video, let me know. Peace out, guys.